What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Spare Change. Today I've got Logan on 4K Blu-ray disc. I'm not gonna get into the film itself. I'm gonna talk about the audio and video quality. Let you guys know if I think it's worth the pickup over the standard Blu-ray. But before we do that, let's unbox this thing and see what we get inside. Inside the steelbook case, you get the black and white and color 4K Blu-rays, 2K black and white and color Blu-rays, and digital download code. All right, guys, I just got done watching the film. Now for some quick tech specs. This film was shot on the Alexa XT cameras anamorphically at 2.8K, finished with a 4K DI. Runtime is two hours and 17 minutes long. Aspect ratio, 235 by one. So if you guys are watching this on TV screens, you guys are gonna get the letterboxing on top and the bottom. For those with scope screens, projectors, you guys are good to go there. Now for picture quality. Even though this wasn't shot natively in 4K, there is a good amount of resolvable detail in pretty much every scene of this film. HDR also helps out here with great shadow detail. This adds a lot of depth and space to those small confined interior shots. Just have a look at Logan's black suit. On the 4K version, you'll be able to pick out the folds a lot easier over the muddied and flat standard Blu-ray. Close-up shots of Xavier and Logan's face can sometimes be disarmingly clear. They both look time and battle tested with scars and graying facial hair. This really adds to the grittiness look of the film. Skyline shots here as well have better color transitions from deeper blues and purples all the way to whites and deep nighttime blacks. HDR really helps out here. Colors tend to be a little bit more flatter looking, much more monochromatic looking in the standard Blu-ray. So definitely a great uptick in the HDR department here in the 4K Blu-ray version. So this disc to me was a major improvement over the standard 2K Blu-ray. It also did come with a black and white version, a noir version of the film. I did test out a couple of scenes and it, yes, it does offer a slightly different feel to the movie experience, but I'm not truly a fan of black and white because um, I mean, let's face it, when Logan and Laura is going full on berserker mode, I kind of want to experience the blood and the carnage all in color. You kind of don't get that with the black and white version. But if you guys are a fan of black and white, let me know in the comments below how you felt about it. Now for audio quality, the standard 2K Blu-ray is in DTS HD 7.1. The 4K version is in Dolby Atmos. Now there are some well-placed ambient effects all throughout the sound field. There are certain times where it does kind of draw attention to itself. There may be a well-placed sound placed overhead, so it kind of makes you look up. It's pretty convincing in that respect. Check out the scene at the hotel when Xavier is having one of his seizures. This scene here, lots of low rumble, lots of low bass. Effects kind of swirling around the room. Great Atmos demo here. Dialogue is clear, well integrated, never gets lost in any of the action scenes or any of the mayhem. Bass is also present. It's never really overpowering, so if you're a bass head or a bass junkie, it's gonna come up a little bit short there in this department. So for audio, I'm gonna give this thing a 7.5. Video, 8.5. Definite improvement over the 2K Blu-ray. Now, do I think it's worth a pickup over the standard Blu-ray? Obviously, great increase in detail, great help with the HDR. Audio is better, it's in Atmos over the standard 7.1 DTS mix. So this is a definite go. Pick it up in 4K. It's the only way to watch this movie. Now is this movie safe for kids? Absolutely not. You got people getting their heads chopped off, arms getting chopped off, people getting stabbed. You got swear words, rated R. Keep those kitties away. Now if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you hated this video, give us a thumbs up. If you like this movie, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on social media, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next video.